We are getting very close to the launch of the Divi 5 public beta, and our team is focused on giving all Divi 4 users a clear upgrade path with a solid level of backward compatibility with legacy modules that may not be ready for Divi 5 when it launches. Today, we announced that Divi 5's backward compatibility systems have been improved significantly. If you're using Divi 5 today, you'll notice a much more bug-free experience when using legacy modules. Most importantly, you'll find that all your legacy modules are now available in the Add Module panel inside the Divi 5 Builder. That means you can leverage Divi's entire ecosystem of third-party modules if they are essential to your website and would otherwise prevent you from upgrading. You'll first notice that legacy modules function on the front end of your website. That means nothing is going to break when you switch to Divi 5. Divi detects when a legacy module exists and then runs it in backward compatibility mode. It comes with a slight performance cost. Ultimately, you can decide whether to continue using legacy modules while taking the performance hit. You can also edit legacy modules in the new Divi 5 builder. For the most part, Editing legacy modules works the same way as editing fully supported modules, with the main caveat being that legacy modules require a reload to re-render changes. It's a great middle ground, allowing you to continue using legacy modules critical for your website while you wait for creators to update them for Divi 5. For example, here you can see me using the Don Divi Builder in backward compatibility mode. You'll notice some differences in the settings panel, which retain various Divi 4 conventions required to support the module's use. You can even use Divi's WooCommerce modules in backward compatibility mode while waiting for our team to convert them. Nothing is holding anyone back from using Divi 5 if they prefer the experience. We prioritized backward compatibility from the beginning. To be frank, some of our competitors didn't, leaving their existing customers stuck on the classic version of their products. If we wanted to abandon existing users, launch a new product under a different brand, and then rebrand our old product into something new with no upgrade path, we could have launched Divi 5 a while ago, but that didn't sit right with us, so we're taking our time to do things right. Improved backward compatibility is available today and it's one of many updates coming to Divi this year. 2025 is the year of Divi 5. The tedious work is behind us. We built the super fast foundation and now it's time for Divi to make its comeback. You can follow along as we progress through the final release of Divi 5 and beyond with updates every two weeks. You can use Divi 5 now to build new websites or wait until we add more features whatever works best for you. We want you to try it, and if you love it, use it. When everyone loves it, we'll make it official. In case you missed it, I recently gave a sneak peek of Divi's upcoming Loop Builder, which is one of Divi's most highly requested features. We're creating what I think is the best query loop builder of any modern WordPress page builder, allowing you to create loops using any Divi module or container element. Click the link in the video description to learn more. Thanks for watching, and before you go, I have a favor to ask. If you're here for the Divi comeback, let us know by liking this video. It means a lot to see you cheering Divi on, and it's essential to feed the algorithm and spread the word. Don't forget to follow and subscribe so you never miss an update. I'll see you soon for another Divi 5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.